This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this pressed leather effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out Skillshare, who was kind enough to sponsor this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills, and that does include GIMP. They do have a nice selection of GIMP tutorials to check out. Premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Whether you want to fuel your creativity or advance your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to your traditional in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 per month. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in the description and get a two-month free trial. So go ahead and check that out if that sounds interesting to you. So we're going to go ahead and get started here in GIMP. The first thing we want to do is just open up our leather texture. I'm going to have a link in the description to all of the assets used for this tutorial. So go ahead and download the leather texture here and open it up with GIMP, and then we'll be good to get started. The next thing we're going to need is a copy of a logo that we would like to uh, impress into the leather here. And for this tutorial, I'll, I will be using uh, the GIMP logo itself. So I'm just going to click and drag that into uh, GIMP here. And again, I'll have a link to this as well if you want to follow along with what I'm doing here. So go ahead and click and drag that into GIMP like you see here. And let me zoom out a little bit by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel. I just want to scale down that logo so it fits inside of the image here. I'm going to grab the uh, unified transform tool, which is right here. Click on the image, the, uh, the logo, and hold control and shift on the keyboard and grab the larger. Look for, one of the, look for one of the corners here, the large square going outside of this diamond. Hold control and shift and click and drag that in like that to scale that down. Right about there. Right about there is pretty good. We can go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. And what we want to do now is we want to take this and just move this beneath the uh, the leather texture layer because we're not going to actually use this. We're going to create an alpha selection from that shape and create an entirely new layer. So I'm going to right click on that logo layer and go to alpha, uh, alpha to selection. And then I'll click on the layer above that, which is the, the texture layer. And I'm going to create a new layer on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And once, once we've done that, I'm going to go to Select, Feather. And we want to feather the selection by 10 pixels. So go ahead and type in 10px, click OK. And now we will go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. But before doing that, just make sure that you have your foreground and background set to black and white respectively. This is the default when you open up GIMP, so you should be good to go here unless you were using another color previously. I'm just going to go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. And now I will go to Select, None. And what we're going to do now is take the mode, the blend mode of this layer, and set this to Soft Light, like that. And you'll notice some of the texture showing through on that uh, black logo there. I'm going to take the opacity of this and bring this down a little bit as well, maybe to about there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another alpha selection from this. I'm going to right click on this and go to Alpha to Selection. I'm going to create a new layer on top of this, so I'm going to click on the uh, button that says Create a New Layer and add it to the image. Click OK. Now go to Select, Invert, because we want to invert that selection. And now we want to go to Filters, Light and Shadow, and we want to choose Drop Shadow Legacy. Not the Drop Shadow, but the Drop Shadow, the Legacy version right here. And the defaults we're going to be working with, Offset X, we want that set to 8. We want Y set to 8 as well. We want the blur radius set to 15. We want the color to be black. We want the opacity all the way up at 100. And allow resizing is disabled. Then go ahead and click OK. And it's going to add an interior. Uh, if you zoom in and look, it's going to add an interior drop shadow in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Select None to get rid of the selection. And I'm going to create a duplicate copy of that uh, drop shadow layer. Uh, that's on top of the image. I'm going to click on the layer that says Drop Shadow, and I'm just going to duplicate that, that duplicate that with this button that says Create a Duplicate of the Layer and Add to the Image, just so it stands out a little more. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another alpha selection from this logo. I'm going to come down here to the layer that's just above the layer, the uh, the leather texture. Right click that and go to Alpha to Selection. Then go back to the top up here. And now what we want to do is go to Filters, Light and Shadow, and choose Drop Shadow Legacy once again, only this time we're going to use different settings. We're going to set the blur radius to 10. We're going to set the color to white. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. And now we can go to Select, None. And where it says Mode, actually, you know what? We want to click on the, uh, the Drop Shadow layer 
on top of it, the very top layer now. We're gonna go to mode and we're gonna set that to overlay. And what we can do now is we can go back to our original layer right above the leather, the, uh, the leather texture layer, and we can adjust the opacity accordingly. So if you don't want it all the way up like that because it doesn't quite look natural, but uh, there should be, I mean, theoretically, there should be some darker color within this layer here because it is sitting inside of it, it is impressed into the layer. So the question is how much discoloration do you want? I think uh, it's just a matter of personal preference. I think right about, I don't know, maybe 40% looks pretty good there. And if you want to get a good bird's eye view of it, you just zoom out and you can see how it looks there. You can see it really uh, came together there. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating a pressed leather effect using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.